Live from New York. It's the show that's getting a haircut today, tomorrow. In three hours. In three hours. Light wow. trim. Are you going bald? Just a light trim. No. Okay. Light trim. Good. No. Light Good. Trim. Like, it's been seven months. First things first. I, 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 like, I like you do. If you guys lose, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> if we lose. Yeah. Is it panic time for the Chiefs? Minor panic. Minor, okay. Minor that's panic. panic. Minor, Minor panic. No, no that's panic. Can, it, hold on. That's bro. just like turbulence on the You team. either uh, panic or you don't panic. No, I'll give you a perfect example that literally just happened 30 minutes ago. Okay. I was uh, in the makeup chair as we wear makeup on television with our great makeup artist, Becca, and all of a sudden the fire alarm started going off in the building. Yeah. And I didn't freak out. But there was a minor, like, well, nobody told me there's a drill. I wonder if there's a fire. Fair. We should investigate. It will be minor panic. Listen, there will be real. Was your vapes? <laughs> no, it was not my vape. You smart ass. <laughs> uh, it, it was not my fault, America. Uh, I don't it will know. mean there are brew, and, and brew, I think you'll agree with me on this. There will be real consequences. I have said. Uh, over the course of this year that Mahomes has never lost a regular season game that mattered because they have never played a road playoff game. They've Makes had sense. the bye almost every year. So the whole point of the regular season is playoff position. The Chiefs have been well positioned. So there's yeah. an, even the losses that seemed like they were going to matter didn't end up mattering. This would matter because I think they would lose the path to the Arrowhead Invitational. They would certainly lose any path or likely path to the one seed. And so, yes, it would be a problem. Now, luckily, they're not going to lose. And luckily, we do have precedent of, and this is where I think Patrick mentioned the 2019 season. Mm -hmm. But Mahomes this is his sixth year as the starter. They have, the Chiefs have lost three of five. This is where we're at right now. In 2018, they, all, they ended the year losing three of five before their final game of the year. And one of the wins was an overtime win. In 2019, they lost four of six midseason. That's the year he's talking about. 2020 was smooth sailing as the defending champs until the Super Bowl. 2021, they lost four of six and looked worse than they have during this streak. That was the league has figured out Mahomes, yeah. and Mahomes' numbers were certainly way worse. The team scored less than 10 points in a couple games. It was bad. And last year... They lost two of four, and one of their wins was a one-point nail-biter against the Raiders, the one where the Raiders missed the two-point conversion, and Devontae Adams was open on the last one, and Derek Carr overshot him. So the, while the offense has only stalled like this brew one other time, that stretch in 2021, the Chiefs having a month and a half-ish of unchiefs like football is not only not unprecedented, it's happened every year but one. So I'm not panicked. I think they will win, but if they lose... Minor panic. Yeah. Small amounts of panic. Minor panic is called panic. All right? And, and, and this was the case last week. I was ultimately the guy that had the most faith in the Chiefs. What do you mean? Now, maybe that's because I didn't pick them to win the Super Bowl, so I'm not flustered, okay? okay? But I'm the only thing that would make me panic about the Chiefs is if I feel like they can't win it. Like, they, they cannot win the Super Bowl this year. They're just not good enough. And if they lose to Buffalo, which I'm leaning toward them losing to Buffalo, I still won't feel like they can't win the Super Bowl. Part of it's the AFC this year, right? Right now, four of the seven teams that are currently in the playoffs are playing backups. Four of the seven. Yes. And Lawrence will be back. Yep. But Trevor Lawrence, one playoff win. Mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson, they're my pick, but still. Lamar Jackson, one playoff win. Yeah. And who, who's the other, um, the other quarterback that's healthy the, two, right uh, now? Zero two, playoff wins. Zero playoff wins. Mm -hmm. yep. So you're probably taking Mahomes over any of those guys in a playoff game. And so the thing that would get me closest to panic is if the defense – Starts giving up a lot of points. So I agree. like if they, right if Buffalo puts thirty on them and wins. You're not and then about the offense. Well, the offense I think the offense kind of is what it is. They're gonna I think they're gonna give you maybe twenty four ish points a game. Okay. But if the, so they're going to me their path this year is like Tom Brady early in his career where the defense is great. And then the quarterback, you know, Makes Mahomes big, carries big you yeah, to what and you need. The, uh, and I, so that's the thing to me. They lose to Buffalo, then Cincinnati puts a bunch of points on them later in the year. That will start to make me think, oh, because if the defense isn't there, I, well, I don't Cincinnati think this with offense Jake Browning, is Cincinnati I understand he's a top Mahomes mountain, yeah. but I will be concerned if the Bengals put a bunch of points yeah, on them. Yeah. But I agree with you. I, one of the things I wrote down is need the defense to bounce back as much as the offense, right. in my opinion. Like I was – the I actually – 
And this is not me making excuses. Mm -hmm. This is, you guys can say it's improper analysis, but I promise you this was my real-time analysis watching the Packer game. I was not as frustrated with the offense as I think people would have expected because that was a weird game in that there were so few possessions. The Chiefs went down the field and then stalled and kicked a field goal. Yeah. Down the field again, right. I and we didn't talk about it, and I don't blame the refs, but just watching in real time, there was a really shaky holding, holding call that then made them settle for a field goal. Then a touchdown, then a touchdown, and that was their first four possessions, and that was the entirety of the first three-plus quarters of the game. And then, at the, then they had a bad three and out, yeah. and then the pick – and then the final possession of the game that was, you know, rooted in controversy with a minute left. So I didn't think the offense was horrible against the Packers. It was just the Packers' drives were so long because the defense could get no stops. There were not right. many possessions. So I agree that the defense, which has been the strength of this team thus far this year, needs to bounce back. They should get Nick Bolton back, and mm -hmm. so hopefully that'll, that'll help. They're going to be without Cook, obviously. Here's what I'm worried about, why I'm panicked, and it's more of a feel thing. And I think, right, we know 21 drops most in the league. We got it. Red zone efficiency, 64% last year. It's down to 55% this year. So those are just raw numbers. Here were the plays that defined the season last year for the Chiefs. Amazing, weird, fun stuff. Remember this? It's just a guy playing with a ton of confidence. And then we show the snow globe play. You're like, wow, the Chiefs are so good on offense. They're doing silly stuff. What is the defining offensive play this year for the Chiefs? It's a drop. It's either a drop or drop a pass interference. MBS. I, okay, so I would you would you agree to drop by MBS? Well, I think Dallas? that is the most notable. But I think the, if we're talking about why don't they have moments like this? Again, this is where I and I don't want to be rude. No. Where I feel like people just literally can only remember the most recent thing they saw. They literally played the Raiders, well. the game before the Packers game, and did a double reverse pass. That for a touchdown. That the, was a good so play. Like, that was a good play. And so that to me like is as silly or fun as I mean, not the snow no, it's globe. Not. It's, no, no, no. It, I understand not the It was a nice little play. The, the, right. But you, you, so, the confidence isn't it isn't what it was in the past. Well, the because you're not having the, the results. The Jarek McKinnon play was not drawn up like but that. But it felt that was, like you were toying with teams. The, and now yeah. it's like maybe maybe Kelsey can find a no, piece of I, green somewhere that is, and get him uh, the ball. That part, the, the general, like, listen, last year they were the highest scoring team in the league. Mm -hmm. Last year they had, in my opinion, a runaway MVP at quarterback. The, obviously they are not that this season, have not been up to this point this season. One of the reasons that I have maintained confident is because – I think personnel-wise, they are strikingly similar on the offensive side of the ball to the team as last year. Like those plays we were showing, I know they are missing Juju, and they added Rasheed Rice. But, it, Brew, would you agree it has to be more than that? It, it, whether it's Look, the enemy I, I, or it's just the other players not, got worse or it's bad fortune, whatever yeah, it is. It, it might be. The enemy might be a lot more bigger of a loss than we all are giving credit for. But I just do think you're disrespecting Juju a little bit. Because Juju, remember early in his career, okay. Juju was like, I, 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 this guy's really good. Okay. And last year he played well. He's on the Patriots. I'm not saying he's I, great. He lost him again. But I guess, I guess what I'm saying is I don't, nobody don't can play through. well on the Patriots. I don't well, think would, you believe Juju Smith-Schuster. If the drop-off between him and Rasheed Rice is the cause of the drop-off no, between the highest-scoring team in the league and so the 12th highest. So what is it? I, I think there's a lot. I'm not, of, I agree it's not only Juju. I think I'm just saying Juju's a professional receiver. I think it's that Mahomes receiver. is not playing quite as well. On. I think some of the red zone stuff is more about – uh, kind of small sample, it'll, it'll revert to the mean. I think that the, the drops have been way worse than last year, even though it's same personnel. So I just think if this team with 90% of the same personnel could be the highest scoring offense in the league last year, I think that they will get it not to the same levels last year, but fixed, especially because we have seen them in four, five of the six years with Mahomes go through stretches as far as losing games three out of five yeah. or something similar, just like this. All right. Uh, good news for Josh Allen. Uh, would your belief in the Bills be restored, Brew, with a win? No. Oof. They're the ultimate I'll believe it when I see it team. The ultimate. See, right? I think they're the ultimate. Even if I see it, I don't know if I believe it. Hmm. Right? No, like, they could right. score 35. They're a, team, and... they're a team that I will believe they're going to get to the Super Bowl when they get to the Super okay. Bowl. <laughs> I mean, right, seriously. <laughs> like, they could run the table at the end of the year, make the playoffs, get to the AFC Championship game, and I'm still going to be like, a bad game might be coming. All right? And so, I, I just – look, I've said it before. Last year, 6-1 and one to start, beat the Chiefs. 
then finish 7-0, seven, seven straight wins, and look horrible in, in the playoffs. Both playoff games. This year even, bad loss to the Jets to start the season. Terrible. But then they blow three straight teams out, including yeah. Miami. And you think, oh, my gosh, here come the Bills. September champions, Nick Crown. Yeah. And then since then, it's just been a mess. And so if they beat Kansas City this weekend and Dallas next weekend, I still oh, come on. won't. I still won't be like, oh, they're going to route the Chargers, the Patriots, and the, and the Dolphins. Yeah. Even if the Dolphins rest guys at the I, end, which I don't think they would, but I, you can't. That's exactly right. That is, with the that coaster. is exactly you just can't right. Count them. So the the premise of this question is the Bills win Sunday, right? Yeah. So let's just take give give them Sunday's win. Then I think they will get cracked by the Cowboys. And if they beat the Cowboys and everyone is fully back on board of the Bills and shows are doing topics of look at the total touchdowns, look at the total yards, has the MVP all along? Probably would be back at MVP. Actually been been Josh Allen. Then guess what? They will unequivocally lose against Brandon Saley, Justin Herbert, and the Chargers. <laughs> That's who this team is. They can't, and so, and we haven't even, and I'll, I might get into it a bit late more in the show, but I talked about how the bye week could be good for the bodies, but bad for them mentally, given where they were. Well, there was just a 20,000 word uh, piece written by the great Tyler Dunn on Sean McDermott that is as scathing of a cut down of a I coach agree. with mm. 25 sources, including current coaches on his staff, eviscerating him. And so I don't how that lands. You mentioned the fact that uh, the, the the I'm sorry. You mentioned Josh Allen in the playoff game and treating it like a playoff game. That's the only environment he hasn't yeah. beaten Kansas City. But here's the other thing about the Bills, because when they look good, they look so good. I think people have overstated even in their wins what they've done this year. You kill the Cowboys, maybe just justifiably, maybe not for who they've beaten. I'm going to name you quarterbacks, okay? Tua. Good right. quarterback. Mm-hmm. Baker, controversial if you think he's good or not. Solid. Jimmy Garoppolo, who's not a starter. Winner, though. Sam Howell, <laughs> who soon will no longer be a starter. No, he's <laughs> – come on. I mean, Howell's okay. okay. I, I, don't, I don't – He's young. Okay. He th- I do not I, think Sam sure Howell will be a week one starter to, next year. Really? But I, let's not argue about I Sam Howell know. right now. You've been trying to get Sam Howell into the show for you put six him in. months. You mentioned him. Tua, <laughs> Baker, Jimmy – Howell, Tyrod Taylor, we agree he's not a starter. Zach Wilson, uh, only a starter because he was forced to be. That's the quarterbacks they've beaten this year. That's the full list. Tua, who's good. Baker, who I like, you guys don't. Jimmy Garoppolo, who's been benched. Sam Howell, who's been sacked or intercepted, I think, 70 times this year. Tyrod Taylor and Zach Wilson. Meanwhile, they lost to Zach and Mac and Russ and were a play away from losing to Tyrod. Like this idea that the Bills are all of a sudden with that being their resume through 12 weeks, going to beat Mahomes and then Dak and sense. then Herbert and then Malik Cunningham for you guys okay, and then Justin that, Herbert. It's they would probably happen. lose the game you don't expect them to lose right. of, of those yes. games. You know I'm deep in the comments. Writing, oh, yeah, yeah. writing well, and reading. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. So <laughs> I saw this comment from Zero Zone and this there were a bunch of prep? sixes. Is your reading the comments? Hello? We're, it's a we're in there grinding, coming up with great <laughs> He has a thumbs up thing on his sheet. I'm looking yeah, at it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Here's what Zero Zone wrote. <laughs> okay. And then I had Josh back it up because I'm a team player with the audience as well. <laughs> Bills have lost three games when they had the lead in the last 130 of the game. Defense couldn't get stopped. I was like, Oh, no one's talking about that except you, Zero Zone. So then I had Josh go through it. They were winning in the final minute until Mac Jones had his game-winning drive hit the gritty. Then Russ had two shots at the field goal. He didn't kick them, but Sean McDermott let the two shots at the right. goal. And then the Jalen waltzed down the field, was throwing the ball to no, the sideline. No, that was the 59-yard field goal. And a, that's a 59-yard. Yeah, to get a 59-yard get it to over. Yeah. So, like, at the same time, as much as we want to bang on Josh Allen – this dude went to the sideline with a minute left in the game or nine. Oh, seconds. there we are. What you said it's to zero. This is so infuriating. Zero zone. It's uh, true. A I didn't point together. that I have been trying to instill in you. <laughs> he did Hold a good, on. I'm saying Josh did a good job. Just, just, just stop for a moment. I have <laughs> been trying to instill one over <laughs> in, in Wilds for three years the fallacy of quarterback wins. The idea that the quarterback can do his job. 
I gave my team the lead. I have a jacket on. Yeah. I'm not playing again. Yeah. And then they lose, and you hold it against them. You're like, well, uh, point of the game is to win. Uh, he lost. That's uh, true. He won. And zero zone one no. made you fire <laughs> and it. Okay, whoever. So now you're the quarterback wins guy? No. You're saying he lost the no, game, so I, Josh Allen did no, bad. I, He's no, a roller coaster. You know what? He no, lost to Mac Jones. He, went to the, he had a chance to win that game, too, because they got the ball back. He's gotten the ball back in a few of these and could have performed a miracle. Now, can I say but he something? did a decent job. Yeah, that's, that's going that's to why hurt McDermott's both of gonna your get fired, feelings. Not Josh Allen. Well, when it suits your argument, each of you are. I'm not. I'm never a quarterback. Sometimes you're a quarterback. I'm I'm always, a quarterback. A quarterback. I'm I always am. No. Okay. Well, you're not right now. I'm just saying. Literally with funny. Josh Allen. It's funny that he's six and six, but these could have been wins. Yes. That is. Yes. Exactly. I agree. Ex- okay. <laughs> You're a quarterback. Thanks. You've been a quarterback. Wins. Who's he been lately? No. Very complimentary. Here's the tail of the tape if we have it. Uh, there it is. Uh, very similar, to be honest with you. I yeah. think we called Josh Allen the roller coaster, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Where's the win loss record, Wilds? Where's that? I would have put it up. Okay. Josh, <laughs> redo that. Uh, 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 chances Allen outplays Mahomes, bro. Great. I actually expect him to. I think the chances are very good. We, we saw yesterday how well Josh Allen has played against Buffalo or against Kansas City. And now Mahomes has played well against them, too, especially in the playoffs. Yeah. All right, so he, he's played well, too. Not quite – his numbers aren't quite what Josh's are, but they're very good, too. But, look, Josh is desperate. They're playing for their season. And as much minor panic or whatever there is in Kansas City, it's still not – you're not in the position it's that not a Buffalo's. five alarm absolutely. fire like Buffalo. Buffalo absolutely has to win this game, yeah. and he does have better receivers than Mahomes well, by a mile. So yeah, I think Josh will have the better why game. Why are you and, smiling? And I'm thinking go ahead before no, I go. No, you go. Okay. You well, go. and I'll add to it. The Chiefs' couple names popped up on the did not practice injury report. The, Isaiah Pacheco is not has not practiced so far this week. Playing. Really? Yeah. Why? I, I don't know. Too busy. Shul- he hurt his uh, hand. <laughs> no, <punching guys. laughs> it's a shoulder, so right. maybe. And their left tackle. So you're running back in your left tackle. If you remember the last time the Chiefs beat the Bills in the regular season, the Bills dared them to run, yep. and they ran all and over Pacheco them. Is really and so, but important. what they have, Mahomes is, what's the word for it? The best quarterback ever after a loss. And I'm not just making that up. We can show it to you. The For Wilds, the win-loss record, it's the best ever after a loss. Sweet. The passer rating, 3-1 to one touchdown interception ratio. And now, and I know he didn't mean to do it, but Hubs, can we play the clip, please, at least part of it? Because I fear there's some bulletin board material. The Josh Allen clip, please. What did he say? Give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he also said he's like an even better person. One up. Come on. That's bulletin board <laughs> material. <laughs> Ridiculous. Sorry. This is I mean, I didn't, I didn't mean to do it. I mean, I mean, he was trying, you know, the old Freudian slip. One of the best to ever do it? Oh, God. That's not. Oh, God. What? One of? He could not have been nicer. Well, he, he you could know, not you know have what? been I'll nicer. I'll tell you exactly how he could have been nicer. What? Remove the words one of. He's the, He's the best to ever do it. That would not get you on the board. <laughs> one of right. gets you on the board. Sorry oh, about that. Those are just the rules. Can uh, Dak uh, lose the MVP this weekend? Hmm. Does he have it? Oh, well, out of the way. He's in second place. one of. Next on FS1, the Fox man, Sports man. Channel on Sirius XM. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.